Well, this was unexpected. This morning, Riot released a very early patch 4.01 that was not on their planned schedule of bi-weekly patches. This actually may not come as a surprise to you, as Riot took the community's complaints seriously, and they are nerfing the problematic errors in this patch. We will explain more in depth later on in this video, so let's get on with it. What is going on, Pro Guides family? It is your host, Sergeant Frost, and this is the patch 4.01 patch notes. Speaking of going in depth, if you want to learn more about how you can improve your aim and record time for free, we recommend Aim Lab, the best free aim trainer currently on the market. Not only will you get pro created playlists to train your aim, but nifty metrics to keep track of your improvement as well. The link to download is in the description below. This patch is quite interesting, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. Let's start this video off with the elephant in the room, and the main reason for why we are getting a whole patch a week earlier than expected. Let's get into these errors changes. The price of the errors has been increased from 1550 credits to 1600 credits. The pitch recoil has been increased. The firing spread has been changed from 0.8 to 0.7 after 10 bullets, and now it is 1.0 down to 0.7 after 13 bullets. And lastly, the crouch benefits spread and recoil have been reduced from 40% to 25%. These changes are very significant, so let's look at Riot's explanation behind these changes. The patch 4.0 changes to the errors made the weapon noticeably stronger, and we were happy to see it show up more in-game. However, its overall tuning made it way too easy to control, and the lack of spin-up removed some of what made the gun unique. We love the benefits that the adjusted fire rate provided in terms of how the errors felt to use, so we want to keep that. However, the adjustments below should make the weapon more difficult to control, and bring back some of the weapon's character by including a more prominent inverse accuracy. Now, for our personal input, these changes were bound to happen, it was only a matter of time. The Ares received such simple buffs in 4.0, yet such small changes made this gun a monster with literally just one patch. Don't forget as well that because of this gun's previous low price of 1550 credits, on second round, even if you lost your pistol round, your team was still able to buy this gun and light armor, which is actually absurd when you think about it. These changes to the errors surprisingly don't touch what made this gun become a monster, which was the removed spin-up time and the increased fire rate. Instead, the devs still want this gun to retain some of its power. They just increased the price to make it a less efficient buy for losers of pistol round, and they noticeably increased its recoil and bullet spread, and they got rid of its crouch benefits too. We are not overreacting by saying that these changes are 100% needed, and they might not have put this gun out of commission either. The Ares still doesn't have a spin-up time, and its increased fire rate of 13 is still intact. These nerfs just made it so that the full auto firing is now harder to control for players that like to post up on an angle and hold mouse 1. At the end of the day, the Ares will still hold some of its buff power. It will just be much harder to control in full auto firing mode. Props to Riot for getting on this problem so quickly. We've never seen Riot disrupt a traditional bi-weekly patch cycle just to inflict multiple nerfs to one gun. That should be a testament to how problematic the Ares became that Riot had to come in and address the issue and disrupt their patch schedule in the process. Moving on to wrap up the weapon changes, let's address what Riot changed about the knife. The knife's right-click hitboxes are now 1.5 times larger, the left-click hitboxes are now larger than the right-click, and it has slightly larger range too. Targets closer to the center of your knife attacks will get hit first, so you will still have precision if you need it. Also, knifing walls now have instant feedback when slicing up walls, which is predicted on the client side. This is just some touch-ups to the buffs to the knife that we received last patch. Nothing to worry about, just housekeeping on following up buffs from Riot. For social updates, there is now a muted words list and a new section you will find in your settings where you can type in variations of words phrases that you personally would not like to see appear in your game. You can now filter out words so that they won't appear in your chat in your settings. This is a nice feature for anyone who wants negativity and profanity out of their game chat, especially for streamers who can get in trouble if some choice words show up on their stream and they are visible. For weapon bug fixes, the devs have fixed a bug where the origin collection idle animations weren't playing for some levels and variants in spectator mode. For esports bug fixes, the devs have fixed an issue where observer players' hotkeys would change after a side swap. And finally, for performance bug fixes, the devs have fixed an issue where performance charts that require NVIDIA Reflex were displayed and could not be hidden. Well guys, that's all we have for the surprise early patch 4.01 rundown. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Also, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com to gain some access to some truly amazing coaching. This has been your host Sergeant Frost, and I'll see you all again in the next video.